Hi, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's knitting vlog is number 74, and today's date is Columbus Day, October 10th, 2022. I am going to talk about a finished object. Um, two works in progress, one of which is the Stephen West Mystery Knit Along and some other plans coming up down the pike. So, thank you so much for watching. Um, I You can find me on social media in all of the places as Lorelei Hill Erdo on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, Hill is my maiden name. I don't have a hyphenated name, so it's just usually Lorelei Erdo. You can call me Lori. I am also on Ravelry as Lorelei Erdo. So you can check out all of my projects there on my Ravelry page. I have updated everything um, pretty regularly. So uh, it's a really dismal day here. So it's kind of rainy and overcast. Um, this is the brightest spot I could find in the house. So um, and who doesn't like to look at books, you know, in the background? I kind of like the spot. I might do this again in the future. I'll start by talking about a finished object. The person that I've knit this for, I'm not going to say who it's for. I don't believe she watches my podcast at all. Um, but a friend of mine was knitting this, my friend Sydney. And Sydney was... Sydney and I were talking on a video call recently and I and she was showing me her progress and I just loved it. So I went ahead and bought the pattern and searched high and low for yarn. Um, this is the Blurry Cowl by Hohi Locatelli and it's So you can see it has a bit of a chevron patterning in that top section and some stripes and some lace. And here is the bag. So it is knit flat for a little while and then knit in the round. Uh, it is very narrow. My friend that I knit this for is quite a bit smaller than me, so I think it's going to be fine. And, um, you know, it's going to be nice and warm this winter for her. And I think she will really like this blue color. She has blue eyes. Isn't that cute? So cute. So, yeah, Sydney is participating in Hohe's Knit Along, her fall knit along. Um... I didn't realize I couldn't, I can't, um, you have to like register for the knit along. You can't just participate and then expect to be added into like the prizes and stuff. So I didn't do that. So this is unofficially part of Hohi Locatelli's knit along. <laughs> but anyway, um, that's my finished object. The yarn I used for this, I used um, US size six needles. And the yarn was actually given to me by my friend Sydney. And it's called Alta Yarns, A-A-L-T-A. -A -L -L -A. This is a DK weight. Um, it's a light gray and blue. I don't know the colors of the, I didn't, I think the light gray is what they called it, but the blue, I don't, I threw away the label. So I don't know exactly what that color is called, sadly, but. I really like it. I was going to do uh, gray with a dark green, but I already made a, sh a cowl like that, like last season. So I went with the blue instead and I love it. it turns out so great. This yarn is um, an alpaca blend. So it has got a nice bit of fuzz to it. It's extremely soft. Yeah, really like this project a lot. Highly recommend the pattern. You know, all of Hoagie's patterns are very well written and fun to knit. 
on the next. So I'm moving on to whips. We're getting a little bright here. I don't know what's happening. Let's turn this down a little. Um, I'm keeping this in a, one of those bagu bags. So fun. Bought on a recent trip to Skinny Atlas. I am knitting some socks. I'm using a yarn that I got at Rhinebeck, I believe last year. It's Scandinavian Weave and Knit. That is their booth name, I believe, but the tag reads as www.yarnhuga.com. So you can find them there, but they do all of the all of the yarn shows, they're going to be at Rhinebeck again this year, I believe. Um, I've seen them at other local craft shows and things like that as well. But this particular colorway is called Autumn Earth. And it's just perfect for fall. Beautiful colors. This is a two-ply fingering. I'm using a US1 needle and I'm magic looping these socks. And this is just the first one so far because I got sidetracked by the mystery knit along. So here it is so far. I'm at the point where I need to start doing the heel flap. So my sock pattern generally goes about 15 rows of two by two ribbing. I'm doing a 64 stitch sock, like I said, on US ones. Um, I like to do a heel flap and gusset, but I want to do a different heel flap this time. Um, and I actually wanted to pull out a book. I might as well do that right now since I'm right here. The Partridge, Eye of Partridge. The Eye of Partridge heel is what I want to do. And um, this is kind of what it looks like here. This book is sock architecture. So yeah, I have done that heel before and I really liked it a lot. So I'm gonna leave that book out so that I can access that. Um, but that's how I'm gonna do the heel flip and do the gusset and then I knit a barn toe or a rounded toe that doesn't require any kitchenering on the end. So yeah, those are my current Work in progress, like I said, they kind of came to a came to a halt because I started the mystery knit along. The first clue came out on Thursday of this past week. So, if you don't want to see my progress on the mystery knit along shawl, I would go ahead and turn fast forward the video through this section here. Um, I'll try to remember to put a timestamp in the description box below so that you know when to fast forward to so you don't see my progress. I'm not that far along, trust me. <laughs> this is the slowest darn knit, I swear. Anyway, it's called Twists and Turns. The Mystery Knit Along started on Thursday. And it goes through the whole month of October. A um, clue is dropped every week on Thursdays. And I've done many of his mystery knit alongs before, and I really do enjoy the process. I like not knowing what I'm going to be knitting. I don't know what it's gonna look like until after the final clue comes out. Um, I love his knit alongs because he does really awesome video instructions on his YouTube channel. So if you're learning a new technique that you've never done before, he walks you through it holding your hand the whole way, which is really nice. Um, I'm keeping mine in another one of those bagu bags. I'll show you the yarn first. So the yarn he suggests using is three colors, a light, a dark, and a pop of color. So 
So these are my colors. Somebody's honking their horn. I don't know if you can hear that. So this is my, these are my main colors and this is my contrasting color. The colors I chose are Pearl Soho, Linen Quill. This is Dark Denim. It's a fingering white yarn with a linen blend. This one is Nice and Knit Fingering. The colorway is called Firefly. And this is the Periwinkle Sheep. Periwinkle Sheep. This is a Merino single ply yarn. And the colorway is not coming out very well on camera. It's much deeper in color. Um, but this color is called Fuchsia Agate. It took me forever to come up with the colors. I pulled out so much yarn. I just knew I wanted to knit from Stash because obviously <laughs> Rhinebeck is one week away. I do not need to be buying any yarn, but um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, I wanted to use Stash and I actually had a color that I really wanted to use. It's kind of a sage green. And it was also from that Scandinavian Weave and Knit booth from Rhinebeck that I bought last year. Just a beautiful green color, but I just could not find colors in my stash that would match that I had like two skeins of. Because it does require two skeins of each of the two main colors and then one skein of the contrast color. So, um, I did cast on on Thursday. And I'm currently knitting with the two main colors, the blue and the speckled. I'm going to show it now. So look away or start fast forwarding. I'm knitting it on a US 4 needle, a Chow Gu needle. And here's what I have so far. Yeah, I don't have much done. The This is so slow. I don't know what it is about it. I don't know if it's these I-cord sections or I think it's because the repeat is like eight or ten rows long, I want to say. And each repeat is just two stripes. I have to repeat for like this much, 14 times. So I don't know if I'm going to finish this <laughs> in time for the next clue. I mean, I would have to knit for a few hours a day between now and Thursday. And I don't, I can't do that because I have to work so that I can um, get some spending money for Rhinebeck because we are leaving on Thursday for, no, we are leaving on Friday for Rhinebeck. So, oh my gosh. Um, so, yes, I love the look of this. I love the graphic nature. I love the colors I chose. Um, it's so slow. I mean, I... I don't know how to make it faster. I do know that he uh, is having us do a cable cast on for these I-cord sections. And that is really slow and fiddly for me. I don't know why. So on one of them, I did a... like a backwards loop cast on for that section it was much faster. <laughs> However, it kind of, actually you can't really even tell the difference. 
a little you can a little bit I did it on this second this one it's just a little loose and like loopy on one side of it but it kind of sits at the back so you can't even really tell but then I was like all right well forget it I'll just keep doing the cable cast on and I it's just really slow. I don't know. Is it slow for you when you're doing that? Um, it's kind of like a knitted cast on. So that's where I'm at with the uh, Stephen West. I'm intrigued. I am intrigued by the pattern and I think I'm going to just do my best to keep working on it and do my best to get it done. But um, I'm not going to really beat myself up too much if I get behind because I never finish at the time that it finishes up at the end of four weeks anyway. I'm always knitting at least another week and a half after it's done. So um, I'm not going to stress out about that, about that. That's, you know, that's supposed to be fun. It's knitting. It's supposed to be fun, right? Doesn't doesn't need to feel like it's work. <laughs> so, okay, I put it away. You can come back on and or re -look or whatever you've done. I don't know. Fast forward, whatever. That is my mystery knit along. So, not a whole lot of knitting to show you this week, but, you know, my episodes are fairly short anyway. Um... I'll talk a little bit about Rhinebeck. So we're leaving Friday to go to Rhinebeck. My friend Sydney and I are going together and I've rented a camper that's kind of sits on its own like property. It's not like at a campground or anything. I thought that was kind of neat it's through Airbnb. And um, it's got heat and everything. It's got a shower and stuff. So I went ahead and rented that. That's outside of Kingston a little ways. So it'll take a little drive to get there, but no biggie. And um, we're going down on Friday because I, both of us got tickets to go to the Woolen Folk event. And I'm really looking forward to it. There's going to be a boatload of ven vendors there and music and, and food and stuff. So that will be really fun. Um, you know, I don't anticipate staying there all day. I'm probably going to, we're probably going to stay a couple hours or whatever. Check it out. Um, but a lot of the vendors that are going to be there are ones that I've never seen in person before. So that will be really exciting. And there are going to be some podcasters there that I am looking forward to meeting. For example, the Knitters League girls are going to be there and... That's always fun because I love their podcast. I never miss an episode of it. And um, they're going to be there. They're also going to be filming a podcast live, which is fun. I don't know that I'll be there for that, but maybe I'll be there and watch it while they do it. I don't know. Um, and then spend the night. And then Saturday morning, we'll go to Rhinebeck and spend the day there. And, you know, there's, that's always a, a good time and probably meet up with Nancy while I'm there and just squish all the yarn. You know how it is. <laughs> but anyway, it's just been like kind of sneaking up on me. And so, of course, I need to try to get some spending money or else it won't be fun at all to go. <laughs> you know how that is. So looking forward to that. And um, I will let you know how that all goes. And I'll do a kind of a recap video when I get back and show you what I bought. Um, like I said, I'm not really looking a lot. I'm not looking for a, a lot of yarn. I don't need a lot of yarn. But one thing I am noticing is what I, what I lack in my stash is neutrals. So that might be something I will look for. Just maybe some inexpensive fingering weight yarns that I could mix in with my stash and um, 
I would like to get into buying yarn for my Rhinebeck sweater for the next year. So I feel like that is a really great plan to shop for a specific yarn and buy it all in one go. And then you have all year to knit that sweater to wear to Rhinebeck the next year. That's kind of my tentative plan. So we'll see how that works out. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'll, I, I'm not knitting a sweater specifically for Rhinebeck this year. I um, will probably wear the sweater that I knit last winter called The Avalanche by Heidi Kermeyer. Um, I finished it at the very end of the winter, so I really have not had a chance to wear it that much. And I feel like that's probably going to be my, my Rhinebeck sweater. And then at the Woolen Folk, I'll probably wear shawl or something that I've knit this last year. Um, I'm hoping that the weather is going to be decent. I don't want it to be too hot or too cold, you know, of course. Um, hopefully it will be comfortable and we can dress in layers and we'll be able to wear our knits. That's like the whole goal of this, right? <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of what else I want to look for while I'm there. I don't really need any needles. I always love to look for books, but I don't want to look. I don't want to look for books because I don't want to carry books around all day. Um, so there's that. <laughs> Yarn is much easier to cart around in a bag. Um, yeah, I guess that's it for my episode today. I really low energy, so I'm sorry if this was like putting you to sleep. Um, but hopefully I've inspired you with my projects and... If you like what you've seen in this episode, please give it a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications for my future videos. And I'll see you guys on the flip side.